So Trump is saying he definitely will testify. Alan, do we believe that and should he? Of course he won't testify. 100% certainty his lawyers will tell him he can't testify. If he were my client and he didn't take my advice and decided to testify, I would have to quit the case. Why? The first question on cross-examination will be, did you have sex with Miss Daniels? There are three possible answers. No, which gets him indicted for perjury. Perjury, a really serious case. Yes, which is obviously not helpful. Or I don't remember. I've had sex with so many porn stars. I really can't. <laughs> there is no possibly good answer to that question. In the O.J. Simpson case, he wanted to take the stand. I told him I would quit the case if he took the stand. That I could oh not gosh. watch on the witness stand being asked whether he beat his wife because we knew he did. There was pictures and he would deny it. And he didn't take the stand and he won. And when he did take the stand in the civil case, he lost. So uh, I can tell you with 100 percent certainty, his lawyers will tell him not to. And I think they will persuade him. Now, he will want to take the stand. And in the end, he has the right to take the stand. By the way, the judge may have to, under New York law, if he doesn't uh, testify, may have to call him up and say, you know you have a right to testify. Even if your lawyers tell you they don't want you to testify, you have a right to testify. It's your right, not your lawyer's right. But uh, prediction, he won't take the stand. Mm, he's saying he will. He's a strong personality. By the way, he's just re-entered the courtroom. They broke for lunch. Um, he did but testify, does, right? What, say again, the, Alan? How does he answer the question about Daniels? Yeah, good question. I don't know. Uh, but Trump has a way of being kind of slippery with the truth. It's different when you have a good cross-examiner there and you're forced to give clear and concise answers and they can really box you in as lawyers are trained to do, Josh. I do think Trump would have his hands full and he's not dumb. He's brazen and somewhat narcissistic like all presidential candidates are, or presidents. Not somewhat, he's definitely narcissistic. Um, but what do you think? I mean, he's, he doesn't want to get convicted, so will he listen? Yeah, I think he will. Look, Donald Trump is definitely contrary, and he, he definitely, I, I think it is fair to say, a narcissist. I mean, most presidents, as you say, are. But, you know, if you look back at Donald Trump's presidency, Megan, he actually oftentimes did listen to the people around him. So he signed the first step back to the criminal justice reform bill in 2018, which I think went against his instincts, but those around him, such as Jared Kushner, wanted to see that bill signed. Back in 2017, you had, and I'm getting the weeds here a little bit, but just briefly, you had that the UAE, Bahrain, Saudi embargo on Qatar. Trump's instincts were actually to support the embargo. He was talked down by Rex Tillerson. So there's a lot of examples back to his presidency of him actually getting talked down from his instincts, from the people around him. This is the first criminal prosecution he's ever faced in his entire life. He's been famously litigious. He has been in court many times. He has never been the defendant in a criminal prosecution. I think for any human being that is going to militate in favor of some deference to your defense attorneys who have been here to, before with other clients in the courtroom. So overall, I, I definitely do concur with Professor Dershowitz. Look, I can give you an example of him listening to me on one occasion. Uh, he called me once and said that his son-in-law was pressing him very hard to recognize Israel's annexation of the Golan Heights. And he was having real doubts about that. And I made some very, very strong, both legal and military and other arguments in favor of it. And thankfully he did uh, listen to me on that. He also listened to me on some matters relating to his uh, impeachment. He was actually quite a good client when I okay, but him Alan, but but Alan, he, if he if if Trump is going for jury nullification, because as you know, you would have told all your clients indicted twice by Jack Smith, the documents case, which is serious obstruction. You would have said, "Shut up! Stop talking about this! Stop mentioning it! Rally! Stop talking to reporters about it!" You're you're, and he didn't listen. So what's to stop him from thinking, "I'm going to get on the stand. I'm going to be me." And I'm just going to say what I want to say because I have a bigger audience I'm trying to speak to. I don't really face jail time in this proceeding. And I'm, I'm going to do my thing because this is about jury nullification and sort of speaking past this jury to the American people. By the way, I would not have told him if I were his lawyer to be quiet outside the courtroom. I would make a sharp distinction between what he says outside the courtroom and what he says in front of the jury. Uh, I think he's done the right thing. 
in front of the court of public opinion. This is a political trial. This is election interference. He has the perfect right to say it. He has the perfect constitutional right to insult the witnesses. Uh, I, I agree with all that. But you, do you really think you should? You think he should have sat down with somebody like me and gone through what documents did you have there? Do you think you had the right to CIA agency document? Like that's no lawyer would no, advise no, him no, to do that. No, nobody who's guilty should ever sit down with you. Let me be very clear <laughs> about that. Uh, if you're innocent, I sat down with you when I was accused of uh, misconduct. Right. I sat you. I volunteered to sit down with you because I was completely innocent. If I were guilty, you're the last person I would want to have cross-examine me. You're so <laughs> damn good at getting wow. at these issues. So no, he was a fool for sitting down with you, but he was not a fool for going in front of large crowds and saying election interference, the judge is this, the judge's daughter is that. He had a right to say that you fight fire with fire and you fight a political persecution with political answers. But once you're in the courtroom and you know you can be asked questions that you would otherwise not be able to be asked, namely, did you have sex with Miss Daniels? No, you don't do that because yeah. he's going to end up being indicted for perjury. The only way and look. Maybe he didn't have sex with Daniels. That would change everything. If he never had sex with Daniels, then he can testify. But if he did have sex with Daniels and she's credible about that particular issue, then he really does risk his freedom if he says that he didn't have sex with her. Because I would not ever believe that the DA or the attorney general or the feds would not come after him for perjury if he did. Uh, yeah, because if you're perjury. Trump and you lie under oath in a New York State Supreme Courthouse, they'll come for you for perjury. But if your name is Fannie Willis or Nathan Wade, then you have nothing to worry about. They won't. Uh, yeah. It's it's different for you. There are some common sense reasons gold is pushing to all time highs right now. The cost of goods continues to rise for one. You know that the national debt continues to skyrocket mm. above 34 trillion now causing many to worry about when this house of cards is going to come crashing down and on whom. And then there's our presidential election year. That's going to have massive implications on the future of this country. All of this can add up to instability and uncertainty. And that's why many Americans are turning to Birch Gold Group. Have you diversified your savings yet? One option you could consider is to secure a portion of your savings with gold from Birch Gold. Text MK to 989898 and get your free information kit. You'll learn how to convert an existing IRA or 401k into a tax-sheltered IRA in gold without costing you anything. Birch Gold has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of happy customers. Just text MK to 989898 to claim your free info kit and learn how you might protect your savings from uncertainty today. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.